What is a slap tear? And if you have one, should you get it fixed? Welcome to the Shoulder and Arm Health Channel, where we discuss the latest and best in shoulder and arm care. I'm Dr. Roger Sohn. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about slap tears. What are they? And if you have one, should you get it fixed? Let's start off with what is it? A slap tear is an acronym and slap stands for superior labrum anterior to posterior. As you may know, the biceps tendon has two heads. There's a short head and a long head. And the long head has a tendon which actually curves upwards as it enters the shoulder. It turns a very sharp angle and then enters the shoulder and inserts on this upper rim of the socket called the labrum. Now that labral area is often referred to as the root of the bicep and the root of the bicep can be torn. When that gets torn, that is what we call a superior labrum anterior posterior or slap tear. So maybe you or someone you know has been told that you have a slap tear. Should you get it fixed? Well, I think it depends on three things, and here they are. Thing one is the pattern of the tear. When I was going through residency, there were only four types of slap tears described. Since that time, there have been six more described, and there are now currently ten types of slap tears that have been described. But they're all basically, in my mind, a variation on the first four. We focus on type two because that's the type that we can actually repair, and when we repair it, we usually do that arthroscopically. We place some suture material around the labrum, and then we actually place anchors into the bone, which then holds the labrum there securely. Over the course of maybe two to three months, the labrum then grows roots into the bone, and it becomes healed and strong again. If we do a special test called an MRI arthrogram, we can usually see what type of tear you have before you even have the surgery. However, we usually have to decide at the time of surgery when we're looking directly at the labrum using our camera. Thing two, the second thing it depends on is what else is damaged? The labrum can't be looked at in isolation because if you do, you ignore the very important thing that's attached to it, which is the long head of the biceps. As I've discussed in a previous video, the biceps tendon is prone to a lot of problems. Specifically, it curves around this sharp corner as it enters the shoulder. This is an area of high friction and sometimes rubbing and sometimes tearing of the tendon. So your surgeon may just focus on the labrum tear. He may fix it and even get it to heal, but if there's pain coming from the biceps tendon further downstream, you may not have the pain relief that you're looking for. The third and final thing it depends on is your age. This study looked at people who had a type 2 slap tear repaired. And they looked for failures. They defined a failure as someone who had to have another surgery because the first surgery did not cure their problem. They found that this single predictive factor was age. And they specifically said age over 36 was predictive of failure. And if you were over the age of 36 when you had your slap tear repaired, you were three and a half times more likely to have it fail than someone who was under that age. So when a patient asks me whether or not we should fix their slap tear, I say it really depends on those three things. It depends on the pattern of the tear. It depends on what else is going on. And specifically, we look at the biceps tendon to make sure that is not a source of pain. And lastly, it depends on the age. In my mind, someone who's in their 20s or early 30s is a good candidate for having a slap repair as long as they don't have pain coming from the biceps or other structures in the shoulder. Well, I hope that was very helpful. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about the latest and best in shoulder arm care, please hit the subscribe button. We'll have a lot more videos coming soon.